Western Dream Surfing and Yoga We are used to change. Change is a constant in our lives as each day brings a new set of conditions. We're flexible. We cultivate flexibility every day through delivery practice. Being flexible allows us to take any shape we need to. Rather than being stiff and resistant, we readjust to the circumstances and surroundings. We adapt, improvise, and overcome. We can hold our breath. We know from experience that this hold down cannot last forever. So we elect not to resist because straining only makes our situation worse. We conserve our energy and maintain our composure until it is time to resurface. We focus on our breath. Being aware of the cadence of our breath drops us into the present moment, into the here and now. Breathing allows us to be intentional with our movements. We intuitively understand that the best way to deal with stress is to take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, that's it. We are resilient. We keep pushing through a seemingly endless onrush, yet we refuse to let up because we know that respite is on the horizon. And the struggle is what makes the good stuff so satisfying anyway. Although falling is a regular occurrence for us, we continue to stand to our feet time and again. We push ourselves. We do not take breaks simply because we are tired. We acknowledge that it is only when we are shaking with fatigue that the real work begins. We push through, knowing that this momentary struggle will make us stronger in the end. We are subject to nature. We ebb and flow according to her rhythms. We take in our surroundings while maintaining a sense of awe and wonder. We revel in her mystery and give thanks for her healing properties. We recognize that we are just a strand in the web of life. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. We take our practice off the mat. We live our values and move with integrity. We embody empathy and show a deep care of compassion for others in our actions. We elevate the lives of whom we come into contact. We are connected to the source. We foster humility by surrendering to forces far greater than ourselves. We are thankful recipients of energy that has journeyed a considerable distance to us. And so we strive to turn this dynamism into something beautiful. We go inward. We dive deep. We explore our inner world through meditation as we heal our inner wounds and traumas. Through this process, we forgive ourselves and others. We change ourselves before attempting to change the world. We are independent. We march to the beat of our own drum, always striving to be our unique selves. We hold space for one another, always knowing that we're all in this together. At the end of the day, we all have each other's backs. We contemplate. We take time to observe our thoughts as well as the functioning of the world around us. Prudent observation allows us to act both thoughtfully and respectfully. We make good decisions because we grant ourselves the time and space to do so. We smile. Smiling helps us relax as it demands less energy than frowning and helps us maintain a positive attitude. The simple act of smiling reminds us of why we are here. We are here to play. We meditate. Meditation puts us in touch with our true self, the soul within us. We connect with that spirit and listen to its guidance. We use meditation to cultivate flow. We live in the now. We cannot predict the future or change the past. So we focus on making the most of what is directly in front of us. We chase the eternal present because that is when we are most alive. Like water, we continually flow from one moment to the next. We live in the now. 
We do not let our regrets and anxieties run the show. We practice mindfulness, which allows us to express who we truly are. We live in harmony with our Buddha nature. We are where our feet are. <laughs>